are no darn good. I hate people. Hello everyone, this is relatively quick. Uh, I just want to talk about <clears throat> I just want to talk about uh, some books that I'm gonna focus on for a little bit. I'm juggling stuff, obviously, not juggling 700 balls like I did before, but I'm juggling different book events, different book projects, and actually I'm just slipping this one in, which is leading to a video I'll be doing on these books, but I thought it'd be nice to just mention them to see what you guys think of these books and if you've got recommendations in the series. So I'm talking about the Hard Case Crime books, and I did mention them briefly when I talked about the June on the Range books I was going to be reading because I went to the library to find some stuff, and then I uh, mentioned them at the end of the video because I'd got a couple out of the library. But um, I've just got this one, so Ed McBain... The Gutter and the Grave. What a cool uh, cover and title. Ed McBain. Finally reading an Ed McBain book. I have got another one that wasn't in the Hard Case Crime series. That's an old, knackered, vintage paperback, which I haven't read yet. But I've now got an Ed McBain um, book in this series. So it's a little bit... There you go. You see it better there. The Gutter and the Grave. So that, that was recently ordered. That arrived this morning. It's a little one, a little dinky one. So... Um, that's the Hard Case Crime series, and uh, that's the latest edition I've got. This one I'm in the middle of reading by Robert Silverberg, The Hot Beat. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm just still aware of the glare. I'm trying to do it on an angle so you can see it better. Um, and I'm really enjoying this. Uh, when I talk about these books in general, there is an issue with this, but uh, I am really enjoying it, though. So The Hot Beat. And I've already read Bust by uh, Ken Bruin and Jason Starr, which introduces a couple of characters that apparently come back a few times. There's a few books on these characters. So Bust is one of these books. This glare is crazy, isn't it? There we go. Um, so that one was really good. I really enjoyed that one. And um, these were the two I got from the library recently. So Lawrence Block's Cinnaman and Pimp. Uh, again, like there's those two guys, and I think it's the same characters that were um, in that other book, Bust. So, um, what are they called? Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and this is a book called Snatch by Gregory MacDonald that I got uh, from Food and Planet when they were getting these, uh, selling these off cheap. So. Um, Kidnappings make headlines and vice versa. So this is clearly a kidnapping story by the author of Fletch. I saw some Fletch books actually in another shop and didn't get them, but I noticed that there, there was these Fletch books that were quite cheap. Um, but anyway, Snatch, Gregory McDonald. That's a that's a really quite a thick one, that one. That's a good... What's that? That's over 400 pages, which is unusual for this series. And then there's the one I've just read, Blood Sugar, by Daniel Krauss, which I have talked about in my uh, Horror Mayhem video. But I'll talk about that in more detail when I do this video I'm going to do on these books. Um, there's another Lawrence Block one, The Girl with the Deep Blue Eyes. Uh, so another one I got from Forbidden Planet, really cheap. And uh, Elmore Leonard said, Block grabs you. And never lets go. So that's another one in that series. And then you've got the three Stephen King ones. Colorado Kid, Later, and Joyland. Um, for me personally, because I remember when I read these and mentioned them on the channel, me and Ollie from Criminally had a different take on this one. So I didn't, didn't like this one much. I love the cover. Absolutely love the cover. Uh, one of my favourite covers in the, in the series. But uh, it didn't grab me as much, whereas later and Joyland, I really like those. Um, I, I really like that one. And, and I think when it came out, it seemed to have a really good reception in general. And Joyland uh, was a joy. And quite a romantic one for Stephen King as well, I think. There's a, there's a sort of a, a relationship at the heart of this book, which I think is written really well. And you really empathise with the characters in that one. And I think it's really cool. So... Um, yeah, they're all a bit different from what you'd normally get from Stephen King, I think. 
Um, and they're all they're, all of these books are quite different, even though they're all part of the Hard Case Crime series. So, so yeah, um, all these books I'm going to talk about in more detail uh, once I've read the ones I haven't read in this pile. Um, but let me know what you think of this series, and if you've been if you encountered them, if you find them intriguing, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah.